Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to get all the login rewards from the Epic Game Store and how to link your account and all that jazz by using the tweaker specifically. If you want to do it the normal method, that's perfectly fine as well. The main difference between using the tweaker versus the regular method is the regular method you need to download two copies of PSO2, which is 80 gigs each, which is 160 gigs. So if you have that much space and you have super fast internet, it's perfectly fine, just do that. All you need to do is open up the Epic Game Store, find PSO2, register it onto your account so it actually shows up in your library, and then just download the game normally. All right. Once the game's fully downloaded, you're going to launch your Steam version or your Microsoft version, whichever version you originally made the account on. Get the data link code, write that down somewhere, launch the Epic Game Store, and then link your account. All right. That's simply all you're going to do. If you guys are still confused about that, I will have a timestamp in the description below, which literally says like how to transfer because I will be showcasing that later in the video. But before we talk about that, I upload PSO2 content daily. So if you do play this game, I'd really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the first step is very simple, make an Epic Games account. Once you've made an account, you need to go to the store and find Fantasy Star Online 2. Once you've found the game, you need to click the big get button, all right? Once you click on get, it's gonna tell you to check out, you're gonna do the whole checkout process. Fantasy Star Online 2 is a free game, so you don't need any credit card details, no nothing. It'll automatically allow you to register the game onto your library, and once you can see the game whenever you click library, then you're good to go. So the next step is to open up the PSO2 tweaker. So once you open up the PSO2 tweaker, I normally play on Steam. So you can see that it says Global Steam. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to click on Global Epic Game Store. And the moment you click on this, you're going to get a pop-up. This thing is going to pop up saying, before you can select a folder, we need to know which version you want to use. We're simply going to click on Global. Then here is the very important part. Because we don't want to re-download the 80 gigs off the Epic Game Store, we're going to trick the Epic Game Store into thinking that our Steam download of PSO2 is actually compatible with the Epic Games one. So when it asks here, which global version are you using? Even though I know we're playing on the Steam one, we're actually going to click on Epic Games. All right, so you're going to click on this. Then it's going to ask you, do you have the game installed? And you're going to say yes. Then it's going to tell you to find the game. You're going to click OK, and then you simply find where your Steam folder is installed. So for me, my Steam folder is in the E drive. I'm going to go to Steam over here. Then I'm going to go to Steam apps over here, and then common, and then Fantasy Star Online 2 underscore NA underscore Steam. And here there is PSO2 bin. You're going to highlight this, all right? You're going to highlight PSO2 bin, click OK. Then it's going to open up five windows and do some hacker stuff. You're going to be like, OK, and just let it do its thing. All right. PSO2 Tweaker will go through all those hacker looking windows and we're just going to sit back and relax. But with the power of editing, we're going to jump cut and uh, you don't have to wait for all this mumbo jumbo. And then once all that mumbo jumbo is done, you're going to have a pop up over here saying that there is an update for Fantasy Star Online 2 Global is available. Would you like to download it and install it? You're going to click yes. And right here is going to tell you it's receiving information from Sega Global bracket Epic Game Store patch server. So you're going to let it do its thing and we just sit back, relax. You're going to see that it will do some quantum system check over here of your local files. Yes, it looks like a ton of files, but don't worry about it. It is simply just scanning the files, making sure that there's nothing missing. And uh, usually there will be like a small file that's missing and it'll just download it after the scan. This will take several minutes depending on how fast your CPU as well as your hard drive is. So just let it run, all right? Sit back, relax, everything will be okay. All right, so that took about 10 to 15 minutes for everything to finish. It did need to download a couple files, so you do need to wait a little bit but now it's all good to go. Then we're simply just gonna press start PSO2 and then you're gonna get this pop-up over here. You're simply just gonna click okay. Then this is gonna pop up over here telling you that you need to copy the SID value. You're gonna be like, okay, you're gonna wait for this. This thing's gonna open. You're gonna get this hacker looking stuff over here waiting for you to input a SID value. Just follow the instructions. It tells you to log in off the website. So don't worry, this is the official website. So I'm gonna log in since my account is with the Epic Games. So I'm gonna click through Epic Games. Then you're gonna get this line of code and you will have a SID code over here. Now I'm blurring this out because I don't know if this is important or not. And then you're simply just gonna copy and paste it into this window and press enter. Once you do that, there will be some hacker looking stuff and then uh, it will disappear and it's going to download some stuff. So you're just going to let it download. 
Once it's done downloading, it'll open this menu right here. It looks exactly the same as like your Steam version or your Microsoft Store version. Either way, we're just going to click Start Game. And then it will just launch the game through the Epic Game Launcher and everything will look exactly the same as just launching the game normally. But this time, it's very important that you do not log in and actually create a character. So you're going to see that it's in a windowed mode because we didn't change that in the settings, but it's no big deal. So you're going to see here, we're going to select and oh look, it's all in Japanese. It's just going to be like, do you accept or decline? You're going to tick this and then you're going to accept its agreement thingy. And then over here, it says that you can link your account to Fantasy Star Online 2, blah, blah, blah. So this part is very, very important. It actually tells you here how to link the account. But don't worry, I'm going to show you step by step on how to do this. So you're going to say next, next, next and close. And then when you go on to start game over here, this is going to pop up over here. So uh, since we are linking this account, we're simply going to close that. We're going to select the ship that you play on, okay? So I play on ship 2. If you play on a different ship, then you have to select a different ship, all right? So I'm going to click on ship 2 over here. And this is going to pop up. Do not mess up this step. I repeat, this step is very, very freaking important, okay? So whatever you do, you're going to have to wait until you get your account link code. So we're going to need to close the game in order to get this, all right? So do not press yes and do not press no. All we're going to do is we're going to click on back, all right? So we're simply going to click back over here, we're going to come back here, and we're going to close the game now. So now that we've closed the game, we're going to reopen the tweaker, but this time we're going to log into whatever your account originally was created on. So I'm an OG player, I started when the Microsoft Store was the only version available, so I'm going to switch over to the Microsoft Store now, okay? So I'm going to click on the Microsoft Store over here, it's going to be like, oh, you have the latest version, you're good to go, so I can just launch the game. Now if you made your account on the Steam version, then you're not going to click on global Microsoft Store, you're going to do the Steam one over here, alright? So whatever your account originally was created on, that's the one you want to launch. So I'm going to launch the game right now using the Microsoft Store version. So boom, it's going to launch the Microsoft version now. So over here, you can tell it's the Microsoft version because I have to press the tab key to switch accounts. I need to log into mine. All right, so I've logged into my Microsoft account. I'm going to go to start game over here. It says after the game starts, you'll be able blah, blah, blah. Yes, ignore this part. I think that pop up only comes up for Microsoft users. Then I'm going to select my ship. And once I'm in this menu, I'm going to go to support menu over here and issue account link code. I'm going to click on this. It's going to come up with this menu telling me, am I sure I want to link my account? I'm going to click yes, and I will get a code over here. Uh, again, I will blur it in case it was important, but uh, I'm going to type out this code on like a notepad or write it down somewhere so that uh, I don't forget what it is. Make sure to double check the code so that you wrote it correctly because uh, if you miswrote it like on your piece of paper, obviously it will not work. So you do have a time limit. You can see over here that there is a time limit of 15 minutes. So you do have to uh, be a little bit quick about it. So once that's done, I'm going to exit the game because I've written my code or my account link code. And then again, I will launch the game through the tweaker. Once it's fully closed, my computer is a little bit slow. And here we go. We open up the tweaker again. Oh, it says it's still open. Whatever, force quit it. And once that's done, we wait for this to load. Once it's loaded, all systems ready, we're going to switch it back to the Epic Game Store, as you can see here. Once we click on that, we're going to wait for this. You have the latest version. Great. Start PSO2. It's downloading all its stuff. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to let it run its thing. And you'll notice this time I did not have to copy all that hacker stuff. That was only for the first time launching it. And now you just get this launcher right here. You're just going to press, you're just going to press start game. And voila, you are now launching into the Epic Game Store version. So technically now I have three versions of the game, even though I only have 80 gigabytes used to download PSO2. I'm allowed to play on, you know, any three versions. So if there are any login rewards on any of the three versions, I'm able to redeem all of them. Easy peasy without having to waste all that space. So here is a very important part, okay? We're going to click on start game, click OK over here, and then we're going to select our ship, right? So here's our ship. This is going to pop up over here, all right? It says right here that, would you like to link accounts and start the game? You're going to click on yes, all right? It's very important you click on yes. Do not press no for whatever reason. If you press no, you are screwed and you will not be able to link your account to the Epic Game Store. 
So you're going to click on yes, and now you got to type in the code over here that we just copied from the Microsoft Store in my case. But if you made your account on Steam, then you'd have to do the same steps on the Steam version. All right. And so I typed in my code. I'm going to say send and accounts have been linked. Data is now carried over, but I cannot log in simultaneously on all platforms, but I can switch between the three. All right. So I'll be disconnected from the server. I select chip two again, and it will just reconnect me and I am good to go character. And voila, you see all my characters are now here available on the Epic Store. It really bothers me how the window is so small, but I really don't want to close the game to fix it. So I'm just going to go log in here onto the Epic Game Store. And immediately we're going to check our busy phone right here because we're going to get some campaign rewards. And uh, yay, login campaign. We got all of these things for logging in onto the Epic Store for the first time. Let's pick those up. And we got all the weapon camos over here. So some guy sent me a friend request, but I'm going to ignore that. And yeah, there you go. Now you have all of the cosmetic items as well as all the login rewards, which by logging into the Epic Store gave you. So a uh, super duper nice. And now we're going to close the game. So now that we've closed the game, let's go back to our Steam version since the Steam version is the one that I normally play on. So we're going to again, we're going to launch the uh, tweaker. So there is one prerequisite for the Epic Game Store. You do need to actually have the Epic Game Store thing launched. Like the launcher has to be open. It's the same thing as the Steam version. You need to have Steam actually opened in order to switch and uh, log into the Steam version, so forth and so on. Okay. So we're going back to the global Steam version and we're just going to click start PSO2 over here. It's going to launch the Steam version right here and it's going to keep all of my settings so it's not going to be that disgusting Windows mode and it's going to be full screen, beautiful, mm -mm 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 -mm. I love it. So a little tidbit before I end the video and that is the actual uh, cost for these uh, weapon camos are uh, pr pretty, pretty high. I, I didn't notice but like the black bulls over here, this is worth 17 million. So it might be worth the hassle to actually log into the Epic Game Store to get these uh, weapon camos mainly because of how much they're worth. Now I'm just going to throw up all of my weapon camos because I really don't care about any of them because you know they're not katana skins basically and they, they don't yeah. So I'm just going to throw all of them up there and look that's uh I mean uh, it, it's it's pretty good money in my opinion. I'm going to sell everything on the lowest price and boom right there easy peasy but yeah that pretty much wraps up the video hopefully you guys found it helpful if you did i would appreciate a like and a subscribe and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video bye what can i say except you're welcome for the heels the boost so well